Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode seven of Find Music. <laughs> I'll get that right someday. Our purpose, of course, is twofold. We introduce you to artists uh, based on artists you already know in terms of similarity of sound that you might, you know, if you like one artist, you might like the other. And of course, we also like to uh, highlight albums that may otherwise have been overlooked by artists you do know. So today for episode seven, we're going back to Fred Whitlock for another one of his pieces. Go ahead, Fred. Uh, this is Mink to Bill, where angels fear to tread. It's his fifth album, a, gr a group led by Willie DeVell. They came out in the late 70s out of the punk scene of New York, but he had his foot in soul and R&B and blues. If you're trying to figure out where he's coming from, I would advise you to go to YouTube and listen to Benny King's Spanish Harlem or some of the Drifter songs like This Magic Moment or Under the Boardwalk, and you'll understand where Willie DeVille sound is coming from. He has his foot in the soul, R&B, and this is a 1983 release, his fifth album. He moved from Capitol Records to Atlantic and put out two albums. And I believe you can get both of them on one CD in, on Amazon. It's a fiery energy. He's full of emotion, drama, Spanish soul. He has a blazing saxophone player that sometimes you almost get an E Street Band feel to some of the songs. He croons in a heartbreaking way, invoking the R&B of the 60s with his razor blade sensitivity. He gets switchblade honesty and digs deeper into Latin roots on this album. The album burns top notch. He's at the top of his game. Why he never caught on with these albums, his Atlantic releases, and never got airplay is a travesty. He's a soul crooner, yet he remains contemporary. He's uncomplicated, but deep. And the man has soul that just drips from him. And he always stays on target with his songs. And the band is at its height with this album. I advise you to try out Where Angels Fear to Tread. Fantastic, Fred. That's going to be an easy one to find, I hope. Mink DeVille. God, that name rings a bell. It rings a bell. Did he have any hits? He had um, Cadillac Walk was a semi-hit. His first yeah. album sold fairly well. He did yeah. two albums for Capitol, and then he went to Europe and recorded an album in France, and Capitol wouldn't release it. So then he went to Atlantic Records, and finally it was released in America years later. I'm going to surmise something here, and you can tell me if I'm barking up the right tree, but with a name like Mink DeVille and a song Cadillac, yeah. hmm, some correlation there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know if I can help myself, but maybe you've heard of his Aunt Cruella. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, okay, another short and sweet episode. Uh, did we did we say uh, yeah you said who he sounds like right Mick yeah. sounds like uh, sounds like those classics uh, under the boardwalk yeah yeah, yeah I mentioned and, uh, Benny uh, King and those guys and then I mentioned that he has an East Street Band sound on some of the cuts saxophone player really well oh yeah I love good saxophone <laughs> I gotta check Mick Deville out more thoroughly. All right, that was easy. Episode seven is in the can. <laughs>